Welcome to How to Fix Charm and Chatty. This is Chatty Kathy's cousin. Welcome Let's fix this. Just landed on how to fix a Charm and Chatty Kathy doll. This is Charm and Chatty. Oh, sorry, Chatty Kathy's cousin, Charm and Chatty, and it has removable records. So that's what you just landed on. We're going to show you guys how to fix it and what's inside. So first, what you're going to do to get inside, you are going to need some of these tools right here. Got a screwdriver, flathead. Um, uh, O-ring that you can buy on eBay just type in O-ring Chatty Kathy doll all the Chatty Kathy's the uh, Charmin Chatty and the baby Chatty's brother Chatty all of them they all take this O-ring and a lot of the voice box dolls made by Mattel in the 1960s also we need this O-ring and you can find them on eBay if you type that in they're about three dollars a piece um, somebody's selling them and they're getting them from somewhere probably paying a quarter but whatever if you're only going to do one just buy one from them <laughs> they've been for sale on there forever so next you're going to need a tweezers in this tool right here this part is the speaker when you get it removed and to get inside you're going to need a razor and you're going to rock it back and forth right here to split that open take your time so it doesn't crack it's pretty much the only way i found to get in here is razor blade rock it back and forth and slice real slowly and work your way until you get in there and split it um, and then the head will come out. That's what that looks like. So you don't remove the head on the Charming Chatty um, Like the uh, The Chatty Kathy's that were made a little bit earlier You have to remove the head first to get the body to come off because it's over wrapped around this This one is inserted on the inside That's the hand so you can see those are inserted on the inside also. So once you split it This whole thing just comes apart and compared to Chatty Kathy this thing is a breeze to fix it's so easy, anybody can do it. One out of 10, I'd put it at like a level three or four, okay? This is not difficult for you guys if you're worried about it. But Chatty Kathy with the cloth chest, that is a 10 out of 10, nearly impossible. I figured it out and I have my own method of doing it. And the uh, Chatty Kathy, the ones after that with the holes in the chest that look like this, um, it doesn't have a cloth chest, are easier to fix, they're similar to this. But I'd put them at like a six or seven, a little bit harder. Okay, so first things first, when you get inside here, there's a bunch of mechanisms. You'll see it'll look like this. The record sits on this, and when this gets cocked up, that's where the record goes in, right there, and it sits on it. This is the Chatty, a Charm and Chatty record, and they flip on both sides. What you're going to do to remove this is pry this open. There's three points on this brake system. What I usually do to fix these is I grab this tool right here, and I pry the three points. I rock them back and forth until they give. So I don't put too much pressure on this because this plastic is brittle. I do it on all three sides, and once the brake system cover comes off, you remove the brake system. And then tune it off right here, which I'm crazy gluing right now. I put it back together. Um, this is the only piece you gotta take off. Watch this. You pull this out, pull the record out. I got one hand, so bear with me. You see how that just popped out like that? That's all you're doing is removing this piece. I'll show you real quick. Okay, so you're gonna move the spring. And then you are going to pick this up. That's how that's in there. There's a little piece of plastic thing in there. No big deal. Okay. So then you're in there. That's it. And you can see the only thing blocking you right now is the brake system brackets. The three points I talked about. Once you remove that, you're home free. This is so easy to fix. You slide a new O-ring on there. You slide a new O-ring around the brake system wheel. Let me come over here on the side. You can see it's on there. Okay, that's all you're doing. It's so easy to fix this thing. And then you put this piece back on, obviously. There is your needle over here. Right, let me move my hand out of the way, sorry. Uh, there's your needle right there, the tip of it. So you might want to just clean that a little bit. Um, it had a lot of gunk on it and stuff, but that's it. So real simple, and you put this thing back together. I'll show you guys how it works. Everything in place to put her back together, you guys can see. I just wanted to show you guys how it was. If you're gonna try to take this on and you're not really that crafty, you're gonna to wanna to see how these were put in as I described in the beginning of the video. And all you're doing is putting this cover back on. And on the side, what I like to use is crazy glue along the edges. You could sprinkle some uh, baking soda on it. That will make it bond quicker if you guys are, don't know anything about that. Baking soda after crazy glue is applied and spill um, a drop of crazy glue again and then baking soda again. It's actually building plastic. It's pretty cool stuff. So check that out. That's a quick tip that I threw in there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this back together now. Back together. Um, I'm going to show you guys what she says a few times. I want to also show you guys how the record goes in. Let me try to get this in here. I've mounted my phone on something so you guys can see this. So there's the record. You slide it in here. 
and you slide this over and it locks on it automatically and then you pull the string. I'm just as old as you are. I like to play games at parties. May I have a piece of cake? How do you like my party dress? And I think she says like 20 things on one side of the record, 20 things on another side. I actually won an auction on eBay and it was 18 um, cassettes and I paid $24, which was pretty cheap. So I thought that was a good deal because they were selling them for each for like $7.99. Just type in Charm and Chatty record and you'll find them on there. You'll find the dolls on there. I think I paid 30 bucks and this was shipped to my doorstep. And all I have to do is buy the $3 O-ring. I showed you guys how to fix that and the records. So now my kids got 18 records and a charm and chatty for probably less than 60 bucks is what I got it for. All fixed up. And if I wanted to resell this right now, working with all the records, it's going to fetch over 150 bucks easily. So thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up and have a good day. Guard your card. Learn more at medicare.gov slash fraud.